Well, you guys got another video for you. Microsoft Copilot now has a face. Microsoft tend to like adding faces to their characters. And of course, Clippy was one of the first. So now Microsoft are adding a face to Copilot. So with reactions or questions you ask uh, Copilot, it's going to uh, react with a different type of face. So right now, the new look of Copilot is being presented to a limited number of users. So you may be one of the lucky ones to have this already, but you can always check because on their website, it shows you where to check. So Copilot appearance is currently available to a subset of users in the US and UK and Canada. Copilot appearance is experimental. That gives you the new visual way to chat with Copilot. It's powered by real-time expressions, voice and conversational memory. So when you're talking to Copilot, it's going to react with some of the sort of gestures here. And that's something that Microsoft have always done. They did it with Clippy and a few other characters inside Office. You used to get those little characters, and I'll show you that in a second. But basically, I think it's just a way to try and entice people to use Copilot more. So to have Copilot uh, enhance your voice conversations with real-time visual expressions, it might entice people to use Copilot more for their work because having a little character on the screen is always cool to a lot of people and that's why they've introduced it i'll leave a link for this article in the video description here and it basically tells you how it works it tells you how to enter voice mode and it will give you uh, some information here where you'll be able to test it for yourself to see whether you're eligible to use it right now they've also got some frequently asked questions on here that people ask I don't use Copilot myself, I uninstall it, but if you're one of these people that do use it, then it might interest you. Now, let's talk about some of the history for some of these characters that Microsoft have had in the past. If you're as old as me, you'd probably remember some of the characters they introduced into Windows many years ago. And these were office assistants that you could use in Windows. And basically, a lot of people really like them. And for some reason, Microsoft sort of uh, made them end of life but you can download and use some of them on your computer so the assistants were characters like the dot the dot was a shape-shifting smiley face red ball and basically it was previously formed by microsoft bob there was also the genius which was a character of albert einstein and that was removed in office xp but it's still available for downloading as an add-on and there was quite a few of them. There was a Mother Nature, there was the Power Pup, and then we also had the Scribble and also Will. And we also had, obviously, some of the more common ones like Clip It, which is Clippy, and uh, the Paper Clip, which was the most familiar with everyone because it was a default option. And a lot of people used it. And this is why I think they've given Copilot a face to try and entice people to use it more because they were quite successful in the past for Microsoft. So let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below whether you would use it or whether you use uh, Copilot already and whether this is uh, interesting to you. I'll be happy to read your comments. Anyway, but that said, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just a quick video for today. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I appreciate the support. I shall catch you on the Discord server. The link is in the video description or I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.